As a result of our investigation, federal representatives called on law enforcement to find the people responsible. This guilty plea sheds light on how this type of fraud worked. We don't need these. It was this time last year that I started hearing from angry Medicare recipients and their families about unwanted COVID tests arriving in the mail. <laughs> Robert Baxley told me his elderly mother received more than 50 COVID-19 test kits. Viewers told me that despite pleas to stop the shipments, Medicare kept paying for the unwanted test and tests kept arriving. I've asked them if we could flag my mother's account. So if it's a COVID test to just deny, 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 but they say they can't do that. COVID testing fraud was a national problem. Medicare was built for millions of dollars in these unwanted tests. The United States Department of Justice has announced a South Florida man pleaded guilty to his role in a $30 million scheme. According to court records, 29-year-old Robert Clark was the figurehead owner of Clear Choice Diagnostics, Inc. They purchased Medicare beneficiary identification numbers, investigators say, and then built Medicare for the test. While paying illegal kickbacks and bribes to marketers in exchange for referrals. The FBI and OIG investigated this case. It was May 2023 when I interviewed the OIG Assistant Inspector General for Investigations, and he vowed to keep going after thieves. My investigation uncovered several labs in the Bay Area that shipped unwanted tests to homes in Florida and across the nation. Medicare recipients filed complaints with the OIG and with Medicare. Clark is scheduled to be sentenced on June 20th and faces a maximum penalty of five years in prison. Now, obviously, this case centers around the South Florida lab, but you reported on some other labs here locally. What about those? I found unsolicited test kits mailed from labs in the Bay Area and from labs in Chicago, Detroit, and California. There have been other arrests throughout the year, and I'm told that investigations continue. So I will continue to watch this one. And they were coming in. I just remember you at a warehouse and just all these COVID tests out it was, there. It was really alarming, the yeah. things we found in that investigation. Right. Well, thank you, Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank in the number, 1-855-BANKIN, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA.